Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today's video is going to be another Makeup Revolution haul. And if you see me waving with this thing because I've just filmed a video reviewing this mascara by L'Oreal. I'm not sure if it is going to be up before this video or after but anyway keep an eye on that one because it is a very interesting review anyway into makeup revolution i have lots of stuff here i have new lipsticks i have blushes and i have a contour kit which is the new release by makeup revolution so if you want to see all the products that i mentioned how i'm going to use them on my cheeks on my face and on my lips then please keep watching so the first thing i'm going to talk about is these lipsticks and these are the iconic pro lipsticks these are one of the more expensive lipsticks from makeup revolution but i was very interested in getting these there is one single shade that i wanted to get but it was out of stock anyway i got myself four and i'm going to try them for you and these are good because they have the same color in a cream formula and in a matte formula not all of the colors but lots of them so the first one i'm going to try is a pink shade and it is called it eats you up and of course it is a matte and i think this is a dupe for mac candy yum yum i'm not sure i don't have that one but anyway this is a very bright pink and i'm going to try it these lipsticks smell similar to some lipsticks that makeup academy does and these are the lip booms the ones that have two sides a glittery gloss and another lipstick these smell the same this is it eats you up and it is a very bright barbie pink shade it is matte but it is very comfortable on the lips and it is real pigmented and the next one i have here is looking ahead and i think this is a brownie shade and i would suppose this is going to be perfect for the autumn so this is how it looks like looking ahead This is the perfect neutral rosy shade for people who have very fair to light skin tone and it is a very beautiful neutral color for someone who has my coloring and if you are darker than my skin tone then this would be a perfect nude for you amazing color amazing pigmentation and very smooth texture the next shade up is called not in love and i think this is a coral or watermelon red shade and wow wow this is so bright i think this is a coral and of course this is not a matte yeah not a matte this is a very beautiful coral shade and it is great to be worn in the summer or in the spring when it is hot because it is very fruity looking and very comfortable on the lips great pigmentation so this one is not in love and the last one i have is a matte and this is called propaganda and i think this is a red shade this is brilliant i don't have any color like this one this has brown yellow and orange at the same time but it is deep enough to be very beautiful in the winter this is a matte finish but very comfortable on the lips very smooth and very pigmented so this one is again propaganda matte do i keep wearing this one throughout the video i decided to take it off and apply a neutral colored lipstick this is the gerard cosmetics 1995 anyway we will move to the blushes and i got all the baked blushes and of course we need this arm to do the swatches and the first one i'm going to start with is the palest probably or maybe the the not pinky blush and this one is called hard day and it is like a mauve highlighter shade this is a glowy pinky mauve shade and it is pale enough to be suitable for someone who has pale skin tone or light skin tone and the finish the texture everything is amazing so this is hard day the next one i have with me is called make love instead and this is your typical pale peachy shade again you see in the swatch that this is peachy less glowy than the previous one but just as beautiful and these types of blushes are good for people who have light or fair skin tone but if you have a darker skin tone tan or darker these could work as perfect highlighters because i imagine if i have a very dark skin tone ebony for example i won't go for white or champagne highlighters because these would be light and look just artificial on the skin so these are a good choice and again it is just perfect so 
This is Make Love Instead. And let's see the next one up. I have two pinks. One of the pinks is called One for Playing Games. And this one is like a purplish kind of pink. This has pink and purple at the same time. Whoa, this is a blue based pink and it is very nice, very smooth. I think this is perfect as a trendy purplish pink color that could work in the autumn just as fine as in the summer. So this one is called One for Playing Games. Okay, the next pink I have is called Bang Bang You're Dead. And this is a blue based pink, but it doesn't have that purple undertone as the previous one. This one is more glowy, more highlighted than the previous one, and it is a bit paler. So this is Bang Bang, You're Dead. I still have two, and the one I'm holding is called All I Think About Is You. And this one is a rosy shade, so it has pink, it has brown, and it has a peach. So I think this is a neutral shade that could work on many people. So I'm just going to swatch it. So if you compare to the others, this has more red in it. It is more rosy than very purpley pink or very peachy color. So this is all I think about is you. And the last one I'm holding is called Love Me the Best or Loved Me the Best, yeah. This is a deep mauvey rose and I think this is going to be great on someone who has dark skin tone. So I'm just going to try this. Actually on my skin tone, it looks more coral and it is less glowy than the others but still the pigmentation and the color are all great i think because i'm wearing something neutral on my face i'm going to try this one the one before the last which is called all i think about is you wow this is so pigmented and so beautiful it has a very subtle glow so it is nothing excessive and this is a great color and of course old-fashioned me a bit on the nose so these were the blushes and now I'm just going to apply some of this magnificent metals, awesome metals. Oh. These are the awesome metals eyeshadow but it just rolled on the floor. One minute. Okay, gotcha. So this comes with a sealing something, sealing gel or something like that. And you have a tray to mix this eyeshadow with the liquid and apply them on the lid but I usually just use them from here because these are cream finish and I have another one of this I have the the magnificent copper but this one is the rose gold and look how beautiful this one is so I'm just going to press a bit of this on my lids this is excellent and now to the final and most exciting thing because this is a new by makeup revolution and it is the highlight and contour kit which is very similar and it exactly duped the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and it also added two shades, two shimmery highlighty shades. So I'm just going to show you the palette and swatch all of the shades on my hand. So it comes in a cardboard packaging and the shades here on the back. These six shades are the dupes for the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and these two additional highlighty shades are just an extra. And this palette is called the Ultra Contour Palette and wow it comes with a full-sized mirror and these are the shades so i'm going to swatch the top and then i'm going to swatch the bottom so i'm going to explain the swatches for you the first one which is the white highlighter this is very shivery and reflective then we have another highlighter which is a bit champagne -y and less reflective it is pearlescent and then we have the banana shade which is of course a matte powder and after that, we have a peachy pink highlighty shade and it is of course matte as well. So again, you could see that the texture and the pigmentation is great on these. Okay, start again. We have a very pale highlighty shade. This is a beigey browny highlight and it is subtle. Then we have a warm dark contour shade. Then we have a cool contour shade and this is paler. And then we have a medium dark neutral contour shade as well. And of course, these are smooth as butter and these are very beautiful. And of course, I'm going to use them on my face. I will use the yellow banana powder to set my under eyes and it has a mirror which is very helpful. I do not need to grab another mirror. So I'm just picking some of this yellow color up. I'm just mixing a bit of the other pinky shade, the matte shade, this one in here. And now to the contour, I'm going to take this angled brush and run the middle color under my cheekbones. I'm sure that this works as beautiful and as perfect as the more expensive ones. I now trust, completely trust, Freedom Makeup and Makeup Revolution 
in bringing the most beautiful products now for highlighter i think i am going to mix this and this one together and i've been using a blending brush to apply my highlighter lately because i think this is more precise oh wow that is so beautiful tip of the nose and in between the eyebrows along the bridge of the nose and a bit on the forehead why not everywhere and then i always grab a bigger blending brush to blend everything so yes i think this is a brilliant palette i think all the products that i've tried today are a 10 out of 10 quality price everything if you are a beginner on makeup or even a professional but you do not have that much money to spend on makeup do not look anywhere else than freedom makeup and makeup revolution of course i'm mentioning freedom makeup because they are affiliate companies but anyway this is my makeup revolution haul for today i hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you found this video helpful please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video and check my other videos because i've done loads of hauls with swatches and reviews and i'll see you again very soon until then please be safe. Bye.